about going to school. You will go to your first lesson. You will have a register taken. You will learn something. You might get some homework. This will repeat for every lesson in every day. The process of getting something to repeat in programming terms is called iteration and means putting code into a loop. You might repeat this for six times each day, or you might repeat this until it is 3.30 p.m. There are different ways of controlling how many times you repeat something in a loop. Let's assume you are in a school or college that always has six lessons every day. You might finish at different times each day, but you would always have six lessons. You would say that you keep repeating the lesson for six times. This is a counter-controlled iteration. Basically, you have a numerical counter that usually starts at zero. There is also a target to aim for, the maximum number of lessons in a day. After each time around the loop, the counter goes up by one so at the end of your first lesson, the counter would be at 1. At the end of your second lesson, the counter will be at 2. When the counter reaches the target, the loop finishes. Let's assume we were writing a program to print out odd numbers and we wanted to repeat this four times. In pseudocode, we would write it as follows. This loop is useful when you know in advance the maximum number of times you want to run your loop for. Let's look at the important lines of code here for our loop. On line 3 you can see we have the start of a for loop. The code essentially says that when the value in the counter variable is 1, 2, 3 or 4, the code will repeat. Then, on line 6 we have the end for statement. At this point, the program adds 1 to the counter variable and loops to the beginning. If we didn't do this, our program would be stuck in an infinite loop. This is where the loop would never reach the condition for the loop to end. We've seen how a counter-controlled loop might work in pseudocode. But how would we code it in a high-level programming language like Python? Well. Python actually has some special code for counter-controlled iteration. It uses the range command. The range command specifies the range of numbers that go from 0 to a number you specify. So range 5 goes from 0 to 5. You can also specify a start and end if you don't want to start from 0. So if you use range 3, 8, your loop will start at 3 and end at 8. Let's create the same program from the previous section but in Python using this range command. Let's look at line 3 of this code where we start our counter controlled loop. You can see that our counter will start at 0 because we haven't specified a start number and will loop while in range 4. This means it will loop until counter is equal to 4, so while the counter is 0, 1, 2 and 3. This is a little different to AQA pseudocode. With AQA pseudocode, it is inclusive of the top number, so it would run when the counter is equal to 4. With Python, when we use the range command, it won't run the loop for the top value. You'll notice we don't say end 4 like in our pseudocode. Python knows that at the end of the code block, it should increment the counter by 1 and loop back to the start. You could also count down by starting with a high number and taking a number away each loop. Using the range command, if you specify three numbers, you get the start, the end and the step. The step is by how many the numbers go up or down. Here is some code to print out all the numbers from 10 down to 1. The important line is for counter in range 10, 0, minus 1. As this is saying we start at 10, end at 1, because when we get to 0 the loop won't run, and go down by minus 1 each time. So, the process of getting your code to repeat more than once is called iteration. Counter-controlled iteration uses a counter that checks against the target. The counter needs to go up at the end of every loop, otherwise your program will enter an infinite loop. 
Counter controlled loops are used when you know in advance how many times your program needs to loop. Counter controlled loops are coded using the for statement. Python also has a range command that is used with for loops. You can specify when to start or stop your range, as well as how much your counter goes up and down.